come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest to conquer the world. All parts of it, even the parts we shouldn't be visiting. That's right. Yeah, the parts they warn you away Mm -hmm. from. Right. Yeah. Parts unknown. Yes. Um, So uh, these are the Internet Radio Superstar. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. Holly. Holly is yeah, she's on is assignment. On assignment in Alaska. In with the moose. <laughs> Seriously, she's with she the moose. She is with moose hunting polar bear uh-huh. in Alaska. She's, she's Jesus. I, I just when I think of Alaska in the summertime, you guys ever see that movie uh, Insomnia? Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. She said that's it was ten o'clock. And yeah. Still light out. Yeah. And that I, that's been on my freak show list for a long time. So stay tuned for yeah, Insomnia eventually. Movie. Yeah, it's a great. Yeah. Movie. Then the flip side is thirty yeah. days a night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's what a, a good double feature. feature. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. We're figuring stuff out before we, we clock Summer in tonight. And wow. In, in night there we go. Alaska. Um, but anyway, tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Michaela. Uh, where did we go tonight? We went to. Australia filmed as Mexico <laughs> <laughs> to go to the ruins. The ruins from the year two thousand eight. Mm, directed by two thousand and eight. Um, directed by two thousand eight. Carter Smith. Carter Smith. Smith sounds like a fake name, but it really does. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we know Carter Smith from anything? Um, I looked. He's up directed his... some bad movies. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I looked it up. I don't really see anything on there. No, they all sound like fake movies. Um, and he's done some music videos. He did a movie called Cr- Swallowed in 2022 that I did hear about. Uh, and Jenna Malone is also in that. Okay. So. He did some Keith Urban music videos, yes. I believe. Yeah. So he's done some work. Was this like a first feature? It looked like it. Oh, okay. From yeah, music a video of to, mm-hmm. uh, okay. Yep. All right. Okay, The Ruins. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is part of Michaela's, uh, what are we doing? Summer Slaycation. Yeah, we're going to all, we're doing destination horror movies all summer long. So you've got a whole slate of them I do, all I have too out. many. I'm going to have to whittle it down, actually. Oh, okay. so. oh, I mean, there's always the next year. Yeah, we exactly. Back again. Oh, but, you know. but the li- priorities keep shifting, you know? And I picked this one because I had never seen this. Oh, okay. um, and I don't know how I missed this because I was like the perfect age for this when it came out. Mm-hmm. I was 18 and I knew who Sean Ashmore was because I saw the X-Men movies. Yep. How did I miss this? Like, is Sean know? Ashmore, Ashmore, is that like X-Men? That, that's basically his claim yeah. to fame, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to even think of what else I've seen him in. He Well, he's on The Boys, but for one season. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's playing another superhero. So right. like, obviously they cast him because he had played one before. So yeah, And he know. shows up in a movie yeah, or two I know. now it seems and again. Like, yeah, but but X-Men was as, it, okay. yeah. He was pyro. No, right. he was Ice, Ice Man. Man. Ice Man. Oh, he was Ice Man. Right, right, right. Yeah, but on the boys, he yeah. plays like a pyro type. Oh, actor, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else is in this movie? Jenna you Malone. Yeah, Jenna Malone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Sean Ashmore was in Frozen. Of course he was. How can we forget Frozen? The horror, oh, the, the horror the movie one. Frozen. The good one. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. the other Frozen. <laughs> mm. Oh, was, maybe we uh, can put him on the wall then. We'll I mean, probably put him on the wall eventually. Yeah, that's the one on the ski lift. Yeah, they get frozen up on a ski lift. That was actually pretty decent. Um. Yeah, Jenna Malone, yep. uh, star of Contact, where she was young Jodie Foster. That's how I was always she really? remember. Oh yeah, Jenna Malone, that. huh. Daddy, where she runs down the the hallway. For, <laughs> the hallway. That's yeah. a great shot. I know, yeah, that's that's a nice trick shot, shot mm-hmm. there. Um, and now she does stuff every movie that Nicholas Wasn't Winding she in Donnie Darko? does. Uh, yes, Donnie yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I remember. Darko, her from. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's probably mm-hmm. where most uh, for yeah. love of the game. Yeah, the Sam Raimi baseball movie, the Neon Demon. I she forgot really she was in that. She's in like all of, I think. That's Nicholas cool. White. She was in that TV show. They she did. in Drive? No, his later stuff. Oh, I think gotcha, she okay. started with Neon Demon and then she's in uh, the Amazon series. Is he going to do another movie ever again? He's making stuff for Netflix. Like long form, <sighs> bizarre. That's not what I want. TV series. Mm. Yeah. Um, we did only God forgives mm-hmm. on this show. You can go back and listen we to that. We did. Episode. I forgot how he felt Maybe about Drive that. will show up eventually. <laughs> Oh, and yeah. uh, who else is in the movie? Uh, Laura Ramsey, who this I'm, girl who that looks familiar, but Men. but yeah, her yeah, like her like it, her, her first two build things were this and the Covenant, and I've seen the Covenant, and I don't remember her the in that. Covenant. So isn't that one the with, like, boy the, witch the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a Rennie yeah. Harlan the, movie. Yes, it is. Oh, I think she man. might be like a girl at the bar or something. Oh, in that movie. okay, okay. That seems yeah. like a movie Sean Ashmore would be in. Right. It does. It feels like he lost out on that because Sebastian stands in that movie. Is he? Yeah, it's one of the dudes. Oh, yeah, okay. and so it's uh, Taylor Stan. Kitsch. Okay. And I think there's one other mildly famous person. I think so, but 
but so I was wise it. enough to skip It'll come that to movie because yeah. that was in that period of time. You where remember you that just trailer where they Freddy took apart Harness? the car? Yeah, that's yes. what I remember. That's what I was going to say. That <laughs> yes. is my image that's from the, the covenant. That is, when you say the covenant, that's the only the thing. The car I see. coming it, apart. It, it, it'll make it here eventually. Don't oh no! Worry. Oh boy! Um, and uh, who else is in the movie? Oh, Chase Crawford. John Tucker. Did we say John Tucker? Jonathan yeah. Tucker. Yeah, Jonathan John Tucker, Tucker must die. He must die. Movie. Yep. He's the star of uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. Is yes. he? Okay. Yeah. I was like, well, I don't know was, who I know. Didn't he have glasses guy. and a mustache? And... Was it a mustache? I remember it was like yeah. mutton chops. But maybe it was a mustache. He had longer hair, yeah. I think. And then I remember Arlie Ermey like accosts him in the car or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he have the... to pick up the yeah, brains yeah, off yeah, the. Yeah. 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 Um, he has to move him aside to. Yeah. It's gross. And the other guy who uh, I recognized was uh, Joe Armstrong in the cast. And the only reason I. Right, I've been like sitting there the whole way through it, going like, "Who in the hell? I've seen him before." And he was Mason Verger in the Han- oh, uh, yeah. the, uh, Hannibal TV nice. series. Where, Has Manhunter ever come to the freak show? No, no. no. Well, that's shot that. at the top yeah, of my I've, list. I've, yeah, it should come just for yeah. just for the for the sparkly jacket that There's what's his name wears to... in that movie the, oh, yeah. the yeah. fashion is yeah. crazy yeah. Yeah. tom noonan is terrifying in there yeah and the question Truly. of course for that episode will be what's better red dragon or manhunter don't well, answer now i was like i have a say, I have, I have an answer that. i mean look at listener at home go look up the directors of those movies and you tell me mm, okay. based, just based on the director alone you tell me what you think oh, okay so he made a good the, movie uh, uh, i just i just no, i watched no, it a week ago i watched it a week ago now Oh my god. That's oh, a good movie. Oh, so you gotta hold on and wait. Listener, for... I, I'm curious but, oh I wanna take the temperature of the audience here. Listener, write in just don't explain anything, just say Manhunter or Red Dragon. That's it that's it. Tell us which I'd one. I'd like to you know. Yeah, no, explanation. no explanation. Contain yourselves. P- pretend like you're voting in a just poll. I wanna it. know. Yeah, because I already feel like, oh my god, I can't believe Holly's missing the tension here. So Well, I feel well, a shit, fight now in the future. <laughs> <laughs> One so, of those movies has to come soon now. Yeah. Um, okay, so what this movie is based on a novel, if I uh, remember correctly. Yes, by Scott Indeed. B. Smith, who was friends with Ben Stiller, and that's why Ben Stiller's a producer on this uh, movie. Ben Stiller's yes. a producer on this movie? I wonder. His production company financed most of this movie. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you know the little minutia trivia thing. I, I looked something up about the uh, production. Mm-hmm. of. So this guy, uh, was a Scott Smith? Uh, he also wrote the novel A Simple Plan. Oh. Uh, and then he did yeah. the, uh, that was the Sam Raimi movie. That made was a movie, movie, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, he wrote the script for the movie. And so apparently he was writing the the, the book, the the the, uh, the Ruins, I was going to call it The Relic, <laughs> The Ruins, and these Hollywood deals, I think they just basically go to publishing houses and buy stuff like, what do you got? You know, What's your top agents? thirty like, bestsellers? Sure. Yeah. Well, it yeah. hadn't even been published. Or even yet. rights? Really? Yeah. The what do you guy, got coming up? Yeah. He was. He said that the rights were bought, and they asked him to write the script as part of like the deal. And so he knew while he was coming up with the third act of the book that he would be writing a movie version of this Whoa. in the future. That yeah. That's so. That breaks your brain a little yeah. bit. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> the rights are sold, and we're going to make the movie, and you haven't even finished your book yet. <laughs> That's so cool, though. Yeah. What a, so, what a predicament to be in, you know? I know, but I guess this Get happens all like all the time. They say like, you know, if you're an author, you'll write a book. The publishing house sells the rights to Hollywood. But then the problem is, right, that they put an option on it that lasts like X number of years. And so then they don't do anything with it because right. they just yeah. buy everything, right? you know? Because they don't want anybody else to get it, so they and they can just hold on to it, for and they hold on to it, and you can't do until anything they can with get it. to it. Yeah. yeah, so it'll never get made somewhere else. I'm sure, like there's hundreds of thousands. Of then we have the blacklist, <laughs> and they end up on the blacklist, and we get that circulating every year. Yeah, mm-hmm. but wasn't Voyage of the Demeter one of those? It was like I think a so. script that like has been hanging around for 20 years or something. Like no, that, it's and happening. finally a movie coming out Yay. this year. Mm-hmm. Um, we have to get to everything Dracula. We yeah, will, we every will. chapter of that book will get a movie. Right, we will suck it dry. No pun intended. <laughs> Um. Okay, so what's the uh, what's the movie about? What do we got going on here? How do we uh, what's what's happening? And the uh, the movie is Americans are stupid, the ugly Americans abroad, a stupid, being ugly, but very, stupid uh, uh, very, uh, very high on themselves mm-hmm. uh, as to their importance of how important they think they are. That's this movie. Okay, but to be fair, I've seen Wolf Creek, and the Australians didn't come off like all that. Uh, all that no. better. Uh, this movie reminded me of Wolf Creek at certain times, and I was not expecting that. This, I'm, 
upfront, this movie was way gorier than I thought it was going to be. Like, okay, see, that's right. You guys hadn't seen I had not this. Seen I know. I not expect well, this. I guess it passed us off and uh, passed us by in 2008. Yeah. What was the world like in 2008? Well, Hostel was 05, right? Yeah. So we're like what five deep in Saw at this point, yeah. probably yeah. Yeah. four, maybe because like, it was 03. Mm-hmm. Or something one of like those that. movies in the trailer came out. I was just like, eh, I don't think I necessarily. And, and the descent had been three years before this. Yeah, but this it kind of looks yeah. like uh, it presents itself kind of like the forest yeah. or something like that. Sure, yeah. one of those kind of mid-grade horror movies that gets dumped out into theaters like in the late summer months or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, either you go or you don't. And you're like, probably like the fall, right? That yeah. one where the girls were stuck on top of the uh, yeah. radio tower or whatever. Um, that looked too high. Right. Or what was the, uh, not open water, what was the shark? This was released the... in April. So they oh, thought okay. this was going to be like a summer lead in. The huh? early summer. Uh, yeah. yeah. So now it's like these movies movie. end up lining the walls of a Netflix queue. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Did it deserve to be there? Well, hold on. We'll find the out. The way they advertised the it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so uh, it's a vacation movie. These. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess, right? It's. Mm-hmm. Are we supposed to? It's like it's just all 20-something vacationers. I suppose that's the idea. They're in a foreign country, and they're just, they don't care about anything. I mean, I don't know. I didn't. Did you think that the movie, like, made them seem... Uh, you know, unlikable. Um, I don't think. So. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. No, I think like their their moments of ignorance are kind of just for plot yeah. sake. Yeah, and they're not like I don't know. Like if they if they wanted us to really hate them, they could have easily made that happen. You right, know? and you get annoyed at their decisions later. But they've at that point that I started feeling it, they'd been through a lot. Right. So you're just kind of like, okay. Well, it's yeah. more movie the, logic. You yeah, have to plus, accept the fact that these characters have to do stupid things to right. drive the plot And they're forward, not in their know? right minds at a certain point. At least I wouldn't think so. Right. Yeah. But I guess that's the thing. I didn't take it as, you know, the, I mean, I've seen, I keep holding for some reason the Friday the 13th remake is my bar of like, <laughs> these people are just written like horrible, awful douches. Yes. <laughs> right. yes. The In this movie, they yeah. weren't. I actually did kind of like, you know, like mm-hmm. uh, yeah. their personalities. And I didn't want them to die. Yeah. They feel very very natural mm-hmm. does that make sense like there's they feel i don't know like there was something about this movie and we'll get into it that felt like i don't see this now and i'm trying to put my finger on what it is exactly you know i think they might about be the way they interact with each other and yeah stuff. i think they might be more caricature now i i think everything has to be winky mm-hmm. and like yeah. think and so. jokey we can't be sincere about right. it or they're anymore. or they're, they would be leaning into a stereotype yes. just because it is a certain thing which i don't feel like they do in this no i mean there are certain they have their own characteristics as far as who they are as people but i never felt like ah oh, there's the there's the dumb blonde who just wants sex all the time right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah didn't yeah. feel that in this. Yeah. and even like even when you try to analyze their decision making a little bit, it's like, well, what other choice do they have was what I kept coming back to. So like it kind of forces you to justify their choices, you know? Mm. Yeah. It is one of those movies that kind of puts you in the perspective of the, Absolutely. of the people where you're trying to figure out well, what would you do in this situation, which I kind of like those, you know, when, yeah. when you're presented with that kind of like, Oh, what? so I guess for the folks at brain home going. Yeah. who haven't seen this before, all right, we're going to spoil the shit out of it. There are, I guess yeah. some spoilers because, um, if you don't really know what the movie's about, you know, it's kids go to a Mayan temple and there's some type of... Uh, Shit goes wrong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so be warned. Okay. So, because you guys didn't know what was... I, no. I had an idea because I had to do research. So oh, I saw no. some things, but I didn't know... I had no idea. The full I thought, extent of what it was. I thought we were going to get, because they go to like an old Mayan ruins, I thought we were either going to get like... Um, like undead Mayans coming yep. back, it's like mm-hmm. you're desecrating our land or yep. our temple. We are going to kill you, or some sort of creature that yep. had been unlocked and released and only lived here. I was not expecting what we got in well, this movie whatsoever. I, I, it could even just be a psychological thing where they all turn on each other, like Lord of the Flies thing. It could yeah. be nothing other than they're stuck and they have to, you know, and get like, out of it. And the sl- slow. Uh, Descent into hell. Yeah. yeah, but it turns out there actually is a monster in yes. this movie. There the is. beginning of the opening has a girl crouched in the dark, and you know she's screaming for help, and then all of a sudden she's yanked out of the frame, and you're like, "Wow, whatever it is, it's some powerful beast that can you know yank a person." Out of- yes. And I did kind of think that the movie played uh, loose with the rules of what our uh, antagonist could actually do. 
And that's the other thing. The movie didn't really give you a human. Well, no, I was going to say it didn't give you a human antagonist, but it does. It's the villager. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, okay. Well, before we get there, I guess. All right. So set this up. What, what, how do these vacationers uh, end up in peril? They're going to go on a 20 mile hike. They spring on their girlfriends. Well, for, we should say there's two couples, right? So Sean Ashmore and uh, Laura Ramsey are a couple. And then uh, Jonathan, Tucker John, Tucker. Jonathan Tucker <laughs> and Jenna Malone are a couple. So blondes and brunettes are paired off, which I was yes. like, okay. But um, they are on vacation and they decided they're going to go on a hike randomly. Yeah, they're Did they at a say why or something at the beginning? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, yeah, because they meet this uh, this German guy, Matthias, and his brother. Who's very suspicious, right? Made so yeah. purposely. Yes. Yeah, because I guess what you you've seen enough of these movies, and it came out in that era that like here's the you know the German guy is going to take them off into the woods, and then right. they're going to end up you know being but sold he has down the something. Road. Yeah, he would have ulterior motives. Well, right. even in Anaconda, remember him. everybody's working together in Anaconda. Yeah, like all the boat. Boat team oh, right. people, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, let's take you on a tour, and like they're all yeah. working together. Yeah, right. Yeah, but see, I guess yeah. I like that about this. Like that is actually is going in the plus column on yes. this movie. Oh yeah, that, like it defied that expectation or that right. stereotype. That's like, oh, it's one of those movies. I get it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but it isn't. He actually is a genuine guy uh, who wants or to. Or his plan was foiled. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Well, uh, but he the has, movie says nothing towards that. But his brother is like an archaeologist and has gone off into the jungle to explore a Mayan temple. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's supposed to be due back, but he hasn't shown up. And so he's like, "Hey, why don't we? Uh, you can come out there with me. Yeah, why for don't a little we go bit deep into the jungle in a foreign country? This is where I uh, the uh, the logic problems kind of start because like they don't know this guy. He's a stranger, like that they met when they were drunk on the beach at the resort." And they're just going to go with him see, to see this dig? I took this as, you know, because you're saying like the American. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, this is like the folly of youth, right? Because yeah. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely. like, there's no way in hell I'm going off with somebody that I never no. met before. <laughs> so, in a foreign country? Yeah. No yeah. Way. Hey, no way. But I think there's this kind of expectation, or at least there was. It's like, see the world and go off and, you know, uh, right. have adventures and everybody's cool everywhere. They pay lip service to it. Too, and they're like, don't you want to explore something and have experiences yeah. and all that? Yeah. And so, but then that was like I, these type of movies were all like the pushback against that. You know, it, it was kind of like the it's the folklore of like if you wander, like Little Red Riding Hood, yeah, you wander off the path and something awful is going to get you out there. Yeah. I mean, it is still playing into that. It even is for sure. It's not uh, him that's uh, leading it. Um, so there's also a little bit of tension that I, set up a little character thing. I'm just saying, if a stranger comes up to the man on the beach and is like, "You want to help me find my brother that went missing?" I'm like, "Fuck no!" Like, like I don't know. Like, cool. <laughs> he's cool. Yeah, I'm just cool. like, fine, uh, you know? that sounds like your problem, not my problem. Like, yeah. you know, mind your business. Yeah, like, I'm they could have avoided this whole shit by just being like, "No, I'm, I'm, like, nah, I'm on dude. vacation, man. I'm gonna hang out at the beach and drink. I'll be fine." Yeah. yeah, stay at the resort. Yes, That's what you do. don't you go off the, property. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can hike around here. Mm-hmm. Guided Fine. tours, yes. Drunk, drunk hike up and down the beach sounds per, good to yep, me. Yeah, those <laughs> stairs up to the hotel room. Yep. That's a long trek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why you were saying, uh, Michaela, you're not cut out for jungle. Oh no, well, I don't think anybody is. It's no. like we should just stay like in their house. But like as a kid, you learn about the rainforest, <laughs> and you're like, that sounds fucking awesome. I want to see the rainforest. And as an adult, you like just see the rainforest as all the things trying to kill you. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm just I don't. Yeah. I don't think I could even survive like an easy hike in the jungle. I yeah, just I don't think I'm cut out for I it. Don't, my God, the heat. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if nothing else, just sweating. I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't necessarily need to do this. No, Mosquitoes not to mention the bugs. Yeah, the, yeah. the bugs, the snakes. Like, they're just, I'm not, I don't think I can do it. And that's just like, I came to that realization watching this movie. Like, nope, I, <laughs> nope, can't hack it. Yeah, Michaela's future life as a feral human yeah. being is coming into question. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm sorry, Jenna Malone was bitching about wearing flip flops for a 20 mile hike. I was like, well, that was your choice, you dumbass. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, why are you mad at other people that you wore flip flops? You're like, going to the jungle in flip flops. Yeah. Well, for, for snake purposes, yeah. if nothing else. Boots. Well, her character, like, who is she back in the world? I can't even remember. She's, uh, I know Jonathan Tucker is, it- is a med student. I think they're mm-hmm. just all college students. Okay. They're all college students, but they know each other through, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. The two girls are best friends, friends and, and they're their boyfriends, okay. as they explain, yes. And there is some tension, I guess, that's set up a little character thing that tries to pay off later that uh, Jenna Malone, when she gets drunk, tries to make out with uh, Matthias. You yeah. Know? At least she sticks his tongue down his ear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, then 
that like you know so then i don't know if she remembers it or she does later mm-hmm. because yeah. stacy breaks it up yeah, yeah. And it's just what you do when you're drunk kind of thing mm-hmm. and so that's probably going to come up again so the the quartet the core four no, it's the yeah. five so they go off into the jungle and they find a hidden passage well they find the brother's van mm-hmm. this jeep yeah and it's like all right and rusted and grown over like this jeep looks like it's been here for oh quite a while that's what that's what uh, cars look like in foreign countries that have been driving <laughs> through the jungle for 20 years i mean if you just think about where this movie goes it makes more sense that it looks like that yeah. but but at the time you're like wait wait a second why does this look like it's been here yeah. for years you know yeah, this seems like uh <laughs> this is where they put the jeep to be a fork in the road yeah. it's like uh, go left or right at the jeep <laughs> yeah well, they had to there. spend it's all their fixture, money on yeah. the, the like the dig equipment or whatever I mean, oh, yeah and that's why the they couldn't spend any money on a car uh <laughs> Because you Dig need those, equipment. Like, what, yeah. what the 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 rope and the wood? <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, who did uh, Heinrich, the missing brother, go mm. up there with? We see a, a girl woman. at the yeah. beginning, so I'm like, okay, it was Heinrich and his girlfriend. Yeah, they mentioned uh, that. and they erected this, uh, you know, uh, pulley system or whatever that uh, crankshaft yeah, and like all this crane. stuff that lowers people down into the. Uh, I assume the did hole the, was yeah. there. That's Who how knows? you get sunlight into the the temple. Aziz light. Um, but anyway, they so they find this uh, this uh, uh, secret passage that's been covered over. And there's first these- sign you shouldn't go down it. If it's like grown over, that means no one's been down th- through it for a while. Or like Probably I say, someone's, but someone's it was covering it up. Yeah, yeah it wasn't growing over because I think when you see he yeah. pulls, somebody's right. just shoved leaves yeah. into the. To okay, cover even it up. that's worse. I worse. Would say. Yeah, that's worse. Say, yeah. That's someone purposely concealing it. So that's worse. And there's little kids that are like just standing off in the distance. You're like, "Ooh, ghost kids! What's happening here?" Yeah. Um, and when, yeah if and if, if you ever come across two kids and one runs off, yeah, just be like, "No, they're going to get someone." Right? Yeah, and you are not. Yep. I know you yeah. have a five second head start. Go now. Yeah, go, yeah. You leave. <laughs> not heeding all the signs. I guess is not this at where I was all. Also like I'd be out of here at this point. I'm like Sean. He'd be dead because he's got to find yeah. out what's going Cause, on. Cause he your needs curiosity. to know. You'd be the first <laughs> one to ride <laughs> that. Kids. You'd be the first one to ride that <laughs> rope down in the in the, no. pit, in the yes. You, would. <laughs> you guys give me <laughs> you would too hear much credit. That person saying help, and you would say, "I got to go down there." Are you Just kidding like me? It. You guys don't know me. I'll be like, "Fuck them." I'm a no. Your curiosity. Yeah, I don't know if I that that I actually did think of Sean. But it was the uh, it was the uh, the path because you're like you find the path yeah. and you're like oh where does it go you know like uh, we got to find out where yeah, it goes. See that I think might you be, like, be if, yeah if we were there I mean I wouldn't be in that jungle to begin with. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're not jungle all, people. This is all conjecture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what do they find at the end of the path? They there's a a pier, pier, temple. I don't want to say pyramid because that's not correct. No, right? it's a Mayan temple. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah. Mayan yeah. temple. Yeah. I think yeah, people know they look like. And it's covered in. Covered in vines that look like weed. <laughs> yes, they really do. <laughs> it does look like weed. And they yeah. come upon that, and then they are... Uh, uh, so it's the four of them, plus Matthias and his friend, who I forgot his name. Oh, what was his name? But he's got a dark-haired friend that goes with him. Who Dimitri. Doesn't, Dimitri. Doesn't, Dimitri. Yeah. Is and, that Dimitri? Yeah. Okay. And he doesn't speak English, no. because he's German. Yeah. So he, like he's a the language, one who's drawn the maps. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And a language barrier does kind of become like a thing here. because um, it's like Yeah, it becomes a problem. Um, they are besieged mm-hmm. almost as soon as they get to this mine yeah. temple. Horses they hear off in the distance come riding mm-hmm. through, and a man jumps off and starts yelling at them mm-hmm. in a language they do not understand. Mm-hmm. And they are very confused. And uh, Jenna Malone is taking pictures, which just. Which stopped. is the most butterfly effect thing to kick off this entire chain of events. It's First of all, you don't know. Insane. Yeah. For, well, you don't know. Uh, uh, what the uh, what other people think of your camera? Uh, certain cultures think the camera's well, stealing your soul if you take a picture of the, them. So who knows? Like, stop taking pictures. They really set this up well too. I think when she first lands and gets out of the airport, the first thing she does is take a picture of like those poor kids in the street. Yeah. And I think they're really like leaning into that idea of like these white Americans that tour third world countries and kind of exploit the suffering yeah. of so brown people. Of yeah, and so like because like, it was literally starving. like she was still like coming out of the airport and she started taking a picture. I'm like, okay, so they're setting up the fact that she's literally looking through like a selfish lens at this whole thing yeah. it's all about you know collecting things so sure, but it's just yeah. it's just crazy that that's what kicks off like that's what lights this dynamite that yeah. blows off you know yeah because she takes a picture they freak out a little bit and then there's back and forth well i don't yeah. think they were actually freaking out about her taking the picture you don't I think, think so no what it was was because she, she kept oh, on yeah, she walked up, and she oh. stepped on the right 
she stepped on the uh, vine, and as soon as she, because then they were like drawing their guns and all that yeah. stuff, and okay. we're like, "What the hell is going on? Why are they going?" Because at first, it didn't seem like maybe. Like they were aggressive and they're speaking a language that you don't understand. So, right. I guess so maybe they that, could have been saying, get away, get away. Yeah, right. that's what I think at, they were. At, uh, at first. Yeah, when you watch it again, yeah. they're like, I think they're saying, like, don't go up there. You know, right. Like, get away. If you go up there, we're going to kill you. Yes. <laughs> and then once she steps in it, it's, it's like, done. okay, that's it. All bets are off. Yeah, because yeah, uh, they kill a guy who kill you. hadn't touched it at that point. I don't. Well, no, yeah. he did. He jumped on it to stop her from doing the camera. Yep. And he's mm. like, is this what they want? I don't know. And then. Yeah, and they kill him. because he He's getting closer. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's walking off of it because there's uh, it, it's not revealed right away, but I, I, I took note of it this time uh, that the whole th- temple is surrounded by like a salt field. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they've salted the earth around this yeah. place. Um, and then what, later we see them adding some more and then you know, throwing it down with their hands. I'm like, well, it took like a dump truck, a couple of them, a whole and steamrollers to do the, but okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's the guy who's unlucky enough that he has to go near. So basically the locals then show up in mass. Yes. Uh, and force them onto the pyramid. Mm-hmm. Um, what you think is like, you know, I know one of the two of them stepped on the, uh, the vine. Yeah. I didn't see anybody else. No, they didn't. But they were like, "Get up there!" You right. know, and, and like, then they later said, "We all touched it." Pretty yeah. early on in the movie, yeah. Just like, hmm, okay. So then it becomes a siege situation where it's like, "There, the locals aren't letting them off mm. the temple." Yeah. Well, this is after their their friend, as he's trying to like give them the camera. He like he gets nailed with an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then shot in the head. And then shot in the head. It's some so it's not like, great CGI, but it's okay. It's 15 years old. Yeah. yeah. And it sets like a pretty good like oh shit these people mean business. Yeah. This is and you don't I guess at this point in the movie you don't know what's going on. Right. Yeah. You know it's like I don't uh, know why because even they pose the question it's like what are they doing they're getting ready for some kind of ritual sacrifice you know it's like if we stumbled into some kind of you know. Right. backwards you know uh, satan worshiping that's the ugly american thing. thing again right assuming that it has I to think be some so, sort of because satanic the movie devil actually worship. it yeah. turns out it's not that it's not at all. that no <laughs> yeah it's more of like a kind of disease situation a yeah, contagion yeah. i guess yeah. yeah yeah so um and the reason i guess that they go up there is because uh, matthias believes that he sees at the top his brother's um tent, tent. Mm-hmm. so that does kind of give like a logic to right. why the characters would like they got to go find the the missing brother they yeah. got to go up there mm-hmm. and it's like well as soon as you step on this thing uh no but nobody's letting you off right and, um so what's like the first so i mean like tragedy befalls them pretty much straight away okay so yeah. i could not believe we were watching this movie this movie's like 90 minutes uh. and uh I, I said to you guys at one point, I was like, they need to slow down because they've killed two people in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. It was like back to back killings. And I was like, well, I mean, it turns out later, not one of them. One of them wasn't dead. But you think at the moment, you're like, oh, my God. And I was just like, they had to add the German guy and his friend so they would have enough bodies yeah. to pick off. Like yeah. they had to add people. <laughs> yeah. But man, the rate they were knocking them off, I was like, this movie's going to be over. So I know quickly. that's why I was saying. Yeah. I, I think we've been conditioned to the two and a half yes. hour movie that, yes. like, when it moves accelerated, it's like, oh shit! How, yeah. how is there going to be enough movie left? This that's movie felt like it was speeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it went quick. Well, um, it's they not end a up, complaint either, but no, yeah. But they end up at the top and they find two tents up there, mm-hmm. empty, just gear sitting around, everything, and then they hear a phone. Mm-hmm. Oh, because there, there is, but there is a. Th- I a thought thing they there. heard someone yelling first. Did they hear the yelling first. I heard, thought they heard someone yelling help, right? Or someone, because remember, um, uh, he thought it was his friend. He was like, "That's my friend down there." Remember? I don't know I don't if he heard. The, I thought he I thought heard, heard someone yelling. I think it was a phone. Was it always the ringtone? I think it's always the phone. Okay. I know that's what eventually they go at. Oh, yeah, yeah he does say, that's my friend's ringtone. Oh, yeah, like, remember? Oh, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah, like, yeah, but that's like, everybody's that's, ringtone. That is the most basic ring ever. Yeah. I'm yeah. just like, how do you tell yeah. people apart? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he does. He's like, that's my friend's ringtone. Yeah. But that's the thing, I guess, right? They're stuck up there. It's like, okay, so there's some time of like, you know, well, how are we going to get off this? The, 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 the villagers aren't going to leave. We're stuck up here. We got to wait it out. We all we, have blackberries. And there's lots of blackberries in this movie. Yeah. Well, they, they, oh, yeah, but they don't work. They don't they have don't a work. signal. No, only, uh, Ma- and only Matthias has a world phone, which is getting a signal out there. But, but the guy held up the picture to, oh, he, or he held up the picture to the villager to be like, have you seen my brother? Right. And Very he natural t- thing to do, you know, hand yourself, took your cell phone to a stranger. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't, yeah. I, especially one who's brandishing uh, weapons yep, at me. Yep. I would not yep. be yep. giving them any yep. thing. And yeah. so it's at the bottom as, of as the pyramid. As, yeah. Mm-hmm. As much so as they have no communication device and then they hear this phone. 
down inside mm-hmm. the the temple. So they're right. like, okay, well, there's this. Uh, it's not a catapult or a trebuchet. Is <laughs> what do we say? It's, it's a, a like it's a for lowering for, into a well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a crank that lowers this rope up and down through the opening of the pyramid. Yeah, yeah. And so um, Matthias goes down there to retrieve the phone because he thinks that's where his brother is, yes. and the rope breaks. This is you know like right after. It is like cartoonish <laughs> like how much they one. fuck this up. Yeah, because like, now what are you gonna do? You know, but every step of the way, every time they try to help, they make it worse. And it's almost comedic how much they fuck up. Yeah. They, yeah. Bad decision after bad decision. <laughs> yeah. Cause now we're thinking like the guy's dead. You got to send somebody down into we're, the hole. And they're like, Oh no, you're sending another yeah. person down into the hole. And we're, and we're just, I'm like, okay, at this rate, everyone's just going to go one right after another in the hole to the body stack up to the top. And yeah, then it's the like, movie's right, over. You're next. It's like, no. <laughs> well, is it Laura, uh, the blonde, she yes. goes down there. Um, and, uh, she ends up cutting her, leg pretty severely on some yeah because the rope yeah. doesn't all go all the way down so she's got to jump the last probably like 10 feet or something mm-hmm. and she ends up almost slicing off her leg yes. basically from a piece of glass and she is... tells them i cut my leg which is the understatement <laughs> of the movie like, yeah wow. Pulling a big chunk of glass yeah. out of it i'm like yeah. Yeah, you're gonna, that's gonna smart for uh, for a couple days and like i kind of thought that's where the gore was gonna stay like i thought it'd be that level of just like close-ups of like a bone poking through the skin or stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 No, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah, so what, okay. So you're talking about the gore, this movie yeah. it exceeded your expectations. Yeah. Much gorier than you thought. Or yeah. Else? I just, I mean, I guess we are in the time of torture porn, so it makes sense. Right. Mm-hmm. Or we're at yeah. the end of torture porn, I guess probably. Mm-hmm. Um, so it makes sense, but French extremism is like ramping up at the same time. So I guess like this is just the flavor of the day. But I think it was, yeah. But I mean, Rob I Zombie yeah. is active at yes. this point in time. You know, yeah. it was kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Actually, there was that scene that we commented on of like casual nudity at the very beginning. Oh, we got to talk about this. Yeah, like okay, I, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a creep, so I'm just gonna say it. Like <laughs> I miss this kind of like sensual nudity that is just kind of like in the background of a scene. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's while they're having like, a conversation. Yeah, they're like, but like the way they're flirting and interacting with each other, like it all feels very natural and it, I I was jarred by it because I couldn't tell you the last time I saw something like this. I know, that's, that's I was right. so distracted yeah. by that's it. That's what it, it felt yeah. like to me. It was like, you know, it was like, oh man, like what, how long ago was this and how times have yeah. changed? Oh, how know? times have changed. <laughs> just like they're like casual, like getting dressed, flirting with each other yeah. when they're yeah. like mostly naked. I don't know, it just like, you don't see any kind of intimacy like that at all know, in movies yeah, anymore. Yeah, like, and it's not even a sex scene. I know. Like, but it felt like so intimate compared to anything yeah, I've seen lately. Yeah. And, and I was just that, like, oh yeah. God, what is happening to my brain? <laughs> like <laughs> it's, I need to like watch dirtier movies more often because like it's getting too sanitized. You, you know? heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> well, um the gore escalates from the uh the cut me after well she True. finds the guys uh matthias uh, has been uh uh i mean he's la- he's got a broken back his legs are twisted as he's laying down he hasn't moved an inch he can only he says head, he can not feel his legs yes which is important <laughs> yes it would be for later so i mean they uh she ends up down there with him and the rope breaks so now they're short because the rope won't go all the way down so they got to figure out a new way to do it and they decide to rip up one of the tents and make a, and the backpack frames, because they have those, like, steel backpacks. Is it? Or it's just, uh, I think it's just a tent frame. Yeah, she said backpack and tents. Pro- or yeah. their backpacks yeah. and stuff. She said yeah. backpack backboard. frames and tent poles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, this is why you have to have a med student with you whenever you leave the country. At all times. Yeah. I, take, a, take a med student. I did not think they were going to get as far as actually making this thing and hauling this guy up. I yeah. was like, this is this is plans never going to come to fruition because they're all going to be dead before that happens. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah, but they even spend some time on that. Like, you know, because the, the guys have to hoist the girls down, you know, one at a time. To, yeah actually load the guy on the, and like how do you pick up a guy who's got a broken back without oh. making it worse you know oh, I mean, oh, oh they, <laughs> they, yeah, make it much, they, they, do. they do the worst thing you could possibly do they fold him forwards and backwards they yeah. do Same it's time. just you hear his back moving like oh that was horrifying oh. but i liked it because i'm like well this is what would happen you yeah. know right, I mean? like, it is you it, go down going like no we're just gonna pick him up stiff as a board yeah <laughs> no <laughs> wouldn't happen like, and that's really their only option so no they would have been better off leaving him until someone came to help 
Like, just leave him where he's at. Don't move him I at mean, all, he wouldn't have been know? there much longer, can, yeah. as we know from the rest of the movie. Yeah. I don't think he would have quite made it. But, but, like, what hope is there for someone that's paralyzed in the middle of the jungle anyways? You know what I'm saying? Right, this is surrounded. kind of like a waste of resources. <laughs> I mean, I would have thought that, yeah. but... I mean, yeah. maybe I'm the worst human being. I know. I was like, I'm sure I sound really callous saying this, but like, you got to at some point, like, do the math. On, you really is do. Is this worth like, it? <sighs> well, yeah. Know? Later when they say we need to cut him off, I thought he was talking about we're going to cut him off from supplies. Yeah. That's yeah. And, stuff. yeah. Initially, uh, like, and, and then he's just like, we have to cut his legs off. And yeah. I'm like, and I'm, what? Aren't you just expediting his death at that point? Because you're causing all this trauma to his body by amputating his legs, right? So like now he's definitely, you're just you can make him die quicker, I feel like. Yeah, because I thought that was... And interesting, because I'm like, you know, that was the one thing where I'm like, well, that's because you got a med student, because I guess that wouldn't have occurred to me to hack the guy's legs off. That guy liked playing God. If I had somebody, you know, there and they were injured, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. We hold him until, the, uh, you know, the paramedics I'm, get It here. would be. I'd be or, like, yeah. let's not touch him <laughs> yeah. until someone who knows what they're that doing. That guy was so eager to hack somebody up. He was just looking for See, it. I, I guess I took him as, you know, you were saying, you know, the, you know my callous person for doing this. It's He's like he had that kind of. Yeah, but even not earlier, yet. Well, they no, even say he's, he's that, not a surgeon; he's a med student. Yeah, but, right, he, but he's got that he was coldness. the guy yeah. who's doing the math because yeah. right off the bat they establish that that's this is Jonathan Tucker. They establish right. that you know he's like immediately they're up there. He's like, we got to ration the water. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know how long we're gonna you know. So he's like seeing how all this you know it's like we're gonna be up right. here for a while. This is how and so he's like, I know where this goes. I know that this yeah. guy dies. In order to save him, we have to cut his legs off. You know, and but is that really going to save him, though? You know, I think like, he's just trying to give him time on t as much time as he can, however he can. Like, I will extend his life in whatever way I can until there is no way to do it anymore. And he either dies or we're rescued. But what we notice is they have a lot of alcohol. Just let that guy drink himself to death and yeah. die. Right. It's, it's, it's like yeah. Fucking, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's what you, when they gave him in the war, they yeah. gave him the. the What's the drug that put you right? Morphine. They give yeah. morphine. Yeah. It's like giving, like sticking them with morphine. It's yeah. like, should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yep. Well, um, there is a hint, I think, of the, the, the movie's antagonist somewhere as they were descending we through see this, this <laughs> vine covered. Yeah, the, the vines. Out of the corner of your eye, like, there's movement every now and again. coming, Sean? The, no. the vine thing? No, okay. I thought that might be, I mean, no, not at all. The vine thing didn't know this was going to be what was the thing in this movie. It's a movie about killer vines. It Which is really is. So fucking, it's way cooler than you think. That sounds really lame. <laughs> it, it, but yeah, it's it really does. cool. It is cooler than you think, and it's different, which is just it's like, okay, good. Grosser something than I expected. Grosser, something, you know, different's going to happen to these people that I haven't necessarily seen before in this type of situation, especially when I thought it was going to be one thing. Mm -hmm. Totally wasn't. But I believe vines. in the book, too, it also had, like, an acid that, you know, like, oh, yeah. I think it cut the rope, you know, by wrapping gotcha. itself around. And then you Love become, that. like, and the book seems like it's more sentient, I think, because mm. at some point they're putting out signs in order to warn people away and it'll take the signs down. <laughs> I it's like that. playing sounds, you know, and talking to them with I have phrases to read that they book. might, uh, you know, like, in, like a human conversation. Where right. here, I guess that was, you know, one of the big surprises of the movie. Um, they keep, uh, that cell phone. Well, I guess, I guess have, have, have they, there's a scene we had that the movie has to determine, okay, this is what's actually happening is it's, it's giving this information away. Uh, Jenna Malone and I think Jonathan Tucker go down and they're like, we got to get off this place. We got to hurt guy. You know, we got to talk to the, the natives and get them off of here at the native, you know, the mm -hmm. villagers. Mm -hmm. And he, she, out of desperation, I think picks up some of the, the yeah. weed, the weed and throws it at them yep. and it hits a little kid yeah. and all of a sudden they freak out <laughs> and like, they, they gun this kid down and they i was like do. oh my god this movie killed a kid wow 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 how did i miss this movie like how right? did this just pass me by this movie it kills a kid Kelly relentless yeah yeah but it kind of shows you like how far they're willing to go to i mean accomplish whatever goal right. it is that that we know of at this point which is nobody is getting off this thing, especially if you touch that plant. Yeah, but I, as you're watching it, so I mean, like, if this is your first time through, I mean, yeah. it was this, did you, did you know that it was going to be, I mean, you saw something moving, you're like, it's a killer plant, or was this the moment that you're like, oh, it's the plant, you know? I, I, I mean, like I said, I had, going into this, I had to do research, so I knew plants were involved. I did not expect the plant to psychologically manipulate these people, and that was fascinating. I, because I, I could watch a whole movie where it's just like 10 people in a room 
having drama with each other and gossiping and shit, right? So, like, I love that the plan's like, did you hear this? Did you hear this? Did you mm-hmm. hear this? Well, and what, even, if, what if you heard this? But see, you and you could do that? it both ways, <laughs> too, in which it is doing it on purpose. Yes. Also, it's just the mechanism of the plant. Yeah. Where See, it just repeats like, like a parrot. I it just it. repeats yeah. noise. Yeah. And it's not doing it maliciously. It's just the last thing it heard down there was that phone ringing. Yep. And so that's the sound yeah. it's got in there. But right these now. people are so like worn thin on their mental state that all it takes is one little poke and yeah, it's going to be the end mm-hmm. of the world to them. And I love that. The, I love that it's not just has them physically trapped, but it's mentally got them upside yeah. down. And I love that, that scene of the, I guess that was the, the moment I'm like, oh, this movie. Right, it was that scene where she goes down there looking for the phone, and mm-hmm. she's got to crawl through. Uh, the two of them, right? Yeah, two yeah. girls, two girls are go down, there. down, and they have to go through. Like it's just vines everywhere, and they got to go through a tiny little opening to get into this chamber yep. to find this thing. And they find the girl who we saw getting sucked away into the darkness at the beginning of the movie, now a desiccated corpse, but she's got a phone, but it's smashed. And they're like, "Well, that can't be ringing." Yeah. And then the plants, the flowers. Then you hear the ringing. And Actually, then it, yeah. As you get closer to the flower, you see it turns more into a, the plant making the noise, yeah. which is because it's vibrating its inner things yep. with it. At this point, so it's like one, a Venus flytrap or something, right? right? Yeah. Well, combined with a talking parrot. With, yeah, and then, and it then mimics you, sound. Yeah, yeah, it mimics the noises. At this point, because I didn't know if it was just going to be the plan or something else, I thought, because we run across the, the mummified corpse of the girl we saw earlier, that it would start to control the bodies. Oh, yeah. And That's that what I thought, too. start coming after people. I thought that was where it was going to go. Yeah. If it was going to go a step further. There's like the, the evil dead trees, you know? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Where, yeah, it would just, like, it would be sticking out of the back of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'd see them moving, and then you'd yeah. realize that the vines well, see, you almost wonder, Isn't that like, splinter? Yeah, that I saw splinter that. splinter yeah. does that, right? Because that was, yeah. it was a fungus, yeah. I think, like a spiky yeah. fungus. But it came oh, out yeah. through your back and controlled you like yeah. that. Well, yeah. it, 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 I just watched it the other day, actually. Yeah, that's But it makes that clicking sound too. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I guess I'm glad that it didn't do that because I think that would have destroyed in some way or would have taken the movie in a, a more more predictable fantastic I mean it's already about a killer vibe right, you right. know but I think yeah maybe predictable you know it's like I'm glad that it had restraint to just basically say no it's a it's a it's a plant it yeah. is some mm-hmm. kind of carnivorous plant that has grown all over this thing that the locals know it's about probably ancient as fuck yeah, yeah. You know, why prehistoric they plant tried to burn it they maybe had torches. They did, and it didn't yeah. catch on fire. Maybe it doesn't burn. I don't know. I it's mean, never plants, established. Maybe while yeah. it's connected to the main plant of it, it doesn't burn. You douse it in gasoline. They you they could have made a ghetto flamethrower and then flamethrower yeah. and slid down the side. Well, no, of the I mean the villagers. Flamethrowing. The villagers yeah. could take flamethrowers to that thing. And so, like, why is it still there? And then I'm you go, like, well, is it some kind of holy thing that they don't, you know, you don't know. I mean, no, that's never, that is probably the thing. They're just like, we know it'll stay there. Let's just keep it there and not fuck with it. Yeah, but so, they will kill you if you touch it because they don't want it to spread. Like, out hesitation. Else. Yeah, they're defending the world, basically. <laughs> basically, yeah. And they've this probably been doing it for it. hundreds of years. Yeah. yeah. Do you think this is one of the monsters in Cabin in the Fever? Or not Cabin this Fever. This felt like Cabin uh, Fever, uh, Not Cabin Fever. Um, <laughs> cabin in the Woods. Do you think this is one of the monsters on probably. the chalkboard yeah, in Cabin in yeah, yeah. the Woods? The, Killer the vine. Mayan temple. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Killer definitely. vines, yeah. <laughs> and they're watching it when they get the call, then they stop yeah. watching it and let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You should yeah. pull up that screenshot of all of them, yeah. Um, but then, I mean, when they do go down and they hear the phone and they do discover that it is the plant that's making the noise, then they rush, they, you know, they freak out and they try and rush out and they've got to get lifted back up the hole. And that's when the whole like thing comes alive and tries to like it's a chase grab scene. the, it yeah. is as yeah. they're going up the shaft, which I thought that was maybe oh, the movie overplaying it's probably, and you know, it's like the whole, it's like the only thing I was like, okay, so maybe down in the dark which is the opposite of how plants work. I know, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it's more lively and up in the sun, right? It's got a, because it did seem that overnight it was more active than it was during the day. Mm -hmm. And it flowered too. It wasn't like that before. I know, and it red flowers because of the blood, I assume, Mm -hmm. the flesh that it's eating, the whole like temple starts to flower, Mm -hmm. these red flowers that make these noises. Yes. Um, But it also, um, while they sleep in their tents, uh, the vines wrap themselves around them, and yeah, they're creeping up. Oh. They uh, try and go in 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 Laura Ramsey's wounds, and uh, well, and she wakes up and she's fine. She's attached to the to the vine. It's yeah. been, it's dug itself into her leg wound and has and, her like stitched to the floor. Yeah, too. yeah. And Sean Ashmore's got to like 
pull it out of her slow oh. wound. Just yeah, it was it was kind of uh, gross. Yeah. And also, uh, poor uh, Matthias over there. It's like uh, basically dissolving his legs away under the blanket. Basically, he can't yes. Feel. Which so that's like what, what leads yeah. to the amputation yeah. scene. Yeah. Yeah. Which is gross. Yeah. And then yeah. the, the oh. plant carries his legs away. Okay, that, the way they okay. amputate his legs is by smashing his knees with a rock for, well, and then the, cutting jo- out the hunting knife. Jonathan Tucker is just like, that's when he's like, because they've been through this, it's been like a day and a half they've yeah. been up there and they've been rationing food and grapes and shit. And, and then he checks on Matthias, gives him a little water, and then he comes back and he's like, we gotta cut him off. Mm-hmm. And this almost feels like it's, it does almost feel like he's out for blood. Yeah, I, I know he's, he's being like, the smarter one and saying like, "Well, we want to give him time as, as we can," but he's just like, "We got to cut him off," and just like, "What? Okay, that seems like a bit of." Well, far, I think but in, the, yeah. in the novel they may have actually been preserving him with the idea that like if he dies, we got to eat him. Oh Jesus! That makes I more eat sense. Him. Oh no. <laughs> but, <laughs> But like the, this guy's barely alive as it is. Barely the last alive. thing you should do is inflict more trauma on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's like not. He's barely clinging to it. Yeah. You're just. But then he's like, cut him death. off. Do it. Yeah. He agrees to it. Yeah. So they smash his legs, the ends of his legs, with hot rocks. Yeah. And then they cauterize the wound with a the pan. With a pan. Oh. Uh. Does he feel this or does he not? It's up to interpretation, right? Yeah. You got to feel some. Well, right. He knows that there's something wrong with his legs. There's something wrong. Check my legs. Right. It's very uh, disturbing. But and was he screaming he because he was in pain or because he uh, the ducks. Trum- traumatized? I imagine you could probably feel something. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. It's just that becomes an argument between the characters after that, you know? Yeah. It does. About whether he could feel it or not. But he so. does get him knocked off, and then the vine does take his legs yep, away. Yep. Skitters away with his foot. It's kind of funny. Yeah. yeah. So it, the vine at this point in the movie is crawling all over the place. I assume, again, you could rationalize this is it's been powered up because it's got it's, it's been, fed. it's yeah it's eating um and uh laura uh she ends up i don't think that's her character's no. name but she Stacey. ends up stacy stacy becomes convinced that the vine being inside her has left some of it inside her and yes. sure enough we see the vine you know underneath this it's always underneath the skin it's never yes. like curled around an internal organ no. it's always right, right yeah, under the skin true. you can that's see true. it it's just like you got to cut them out, so that becomes like this whole oh. thing where they. <laughs> this made me a little nauseous. I was not yeah, expecting he, this. He this... really digs in. The doc is, is like, all right, I'll she, cut her it out. acting is so good in this scene because I was <laughs> buying it. Oh my god! Yeah, because she's got it in her what on, on her back. Yeah, and on her and her, and her leg. thigh. Yeah, and, yeah, and her thigh. And, he's just, and he, he just cuts, cuts a gash then, open and pulls it out. And he's just like wringing it around. It's like he's twirling <laughs> spaghetti trying to get this I, shit. out I was of gonna her. say it was like he's wrapping cable. Man, he was just pulling and pulling. And then oh. yeah. he's got a. He really digs into her back. Like mm-hmm. that's a. That is not a. That surgeon has a heavy hand. Yeah, as he, far as he's cutting. enjoying this a little too much. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, this is where I know I wouldn't be a good director though, because if I was doing that, I would. You would see. I would have you so you could see it, but it wouldn't move. You know, it's like it's always. They always have it. Like I mean, even when he pulls it out, it's like wriggling around. I'm yeah. like, but wouldn't it be just creepier if it was just like, you know, it there. was you could see it, like you went to sleep and you woke up and you're like, oh fuck. You know, there it it's is. It's like waking up with a face hugger on you. It's just like, it's yeah, there. yeah, it's there. Uh, you know, that to me is more, more creepy. But I guess, you know, the thing moving yeah, around. Like it's feeding off of you. It's just yeah. stuck right there. I, yeah. I do like the way that scene shot, though, where it's like a little bit below her eye line while she's like bent over on the ground. So you can't actually see the open wound. You just see him pulling it out. Yep. Yeah, and that's it's a good shot. really good shot. What do you guys think of like how this movie looked and like in cinematography and stuff? I dug it. It's uh, Darius Kanji. Yeah, uh, it is. David That's what I was going to bring Fincher's. up. Oh, sorry. No, no, go for it. No. I recognize yeah. his name at the end. I'm like, oh, yeah, he did uh, all those uh, Jean-Pierre Junet movies. Yeah. Like, back Lost in City the of Z. And, um, oh, well, that makes he sense. He did Uncut Gems, Children. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and he did Seven, obviously. Mm-hmm. But he did Funny Games as well. The two. Oh, yeah, 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 my yeah. favorite yeah, one. Yeah. Yes. But And this movie was all outdoors. was all shot with natural light. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess you're fi- in a sunny climate. It was filmed yeah. in Australia in the wintertime, and that's why they're all greasy looking, because like, it's winter, so they had coats on in between scenes, and they sprayed them down with oil to oh, make them look sweaty. Interesting. So. Interesting. Uh, yep. Really? Yep. Wow. But, I mean, what's what's wintertime in Australia? What's I mean, that? it's cold-ish, you know? They were, well, Ask our be, listeners. Yeah, I couldn't we see got breath. Australian yeah. listeners. It's yeah. got to be like at least 50 degrees yeah. or something like that. But. Yeah. But I thought it did look like natural light a lot of the time, too. I was paying attention to that because I knew that. And I was like, this looks really, this looks yeah, really nice. nice. Yeah, like orange. Yeah, so much of- so I'm just like, they need to get out of the sun if they're yeah. trying to preserve some sort of life here. Yeah. Right. And it seems a bit uh, seems a bit hot. Mm-hmm. 
Well, Stacy eventually goes crazy. She begins to believe that there's one in her head, and then we see it move across her forehead, and it's like, oh, God, how are we going to... We can't get that out. Didn't you? Yeah. Like, You're going to go... And she starts believing that, uh, I believe, that Jenna Malone and um, her boy and Sean Ashmore yeah. are having an affair, having sex, like, uh-huh. outside. Because yeah. she's hearing... I can't... I, I she's think hearing was, crying. I think she's hearing the, the, the flower. Yeah. Is actually Probably. making this That's sound what I thought too, of the, the whimpering or whatever. Of yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, then she part of reveals. its psychological manipulation, which I love. Right. Yeah, love that. And then that's when the uh, the the Chekhov's uh, dalliance at the mm-hmm. beginning with Jenna Malone and yes. uh, comes back and like she was cheating on you and blah blah blah. That really doesn't pay off. Yeah, do it. No, her just, cre- uh, it just undermines her credibility, yeah. Yeah. right? And gives tension to yeah. the dynamic of the people because uh, everyone's slipping at this point. Yeah. And her, it wasn't her, mostly her. Handed, so it was like that was okay. Right. And I was like, yeah. and he's basically like, she's like, it never happened. And he's like, would you care right now? Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not like not, not top priority right yeah, now. Yeah, not top of my list. Yeah, uh, Let's try Sean and Asmore, he buys it because uh, she flips out. Stacy flips out. Well, they out. wait. Well, they, they all eventually end up sleep back in a tent, and then while everyone else is sleeping, uh, Stacy gets up and she goes searching through bags and everything, looking for the knife because she's still crazy, and they let her, you know, just be on her own. And so uh, she finds the knife, and then. Everyone else wakes up and comes out, and they find that she has been cutting into herself to get like she's got a huge part of her thigh is like, oh, oh, is like peeled is down awful. a little bit that she's digging <laughs> yeah. in, and she's got a cut across her forehead and over on her shoulder. She's just been slicing herself up. She's like, "It's okay, I found them. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be was, fine. I just got to get this one yeah. more piece, right? Out. Just one yeah. more." And she's digging into her thigh, and Sean Ashford's trying to help her, and she just whips around and stabs him in the chest. Yeah. yeah. What a way to go! Yep. Well, it's, they make a deal out of she slices first at, oh, know, yeah. through the air and, and hits uh, Jonathan Tucker in the hand, and I'm like, oh, that's oh no, he's got right. like the blood and the thing's gonna come after. Yeah, but I don't know that they really did much about that. No, like, there wasn't much about it. Just like, oh no, and yeah, zombie bite stuff is not happening. Yeah, okay. right, yeah. right. You yeah. can't transmit it this way. Yeah, it just it, if it gets in you itself, then. I'm sure. glad you said that. I like that no one tries to hide it from anybody else. Right. Yeah, like we don't come on upon a situation where you're just like, yeah. oh, yeah. I can see it going. And they're just like, no, it's nothing. No, everyone's pretty upfront, honest about it. And that makes it realistic. Like, I, you know, I, I don't know. I think a lot, of, like, obviously they make really dumb decisions because yeah. they have to to move the plot forward. Yeah. But they make relatable choices a lot of the time, I think. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I like that. You it's know, like, what else are you going to do? It's right. forced into a corner. You right. know what I mean? There really is no good move, you know. Uh, but like, like huh. in a movie now, Stacy would have hidden the fact that she saw the vines in Probably. her leg, right? You know, and that would have been like the that. hidden zombie bite that comes She's back. Like, yeah, no, I'm later. fine. Yeah. Let's keep trying yeah. to figure out how to get out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> While I endanger all of you, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, Sean Ashmore gets dragged away by the vines. Yes. He's dead because they like to take the dead things and the pieces. So he it's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, it's mine now. Yep. <laughs> then, uh, they moved on him quickly. They, they really did. Like, active yeah, vine yeah. at this point. Yeah. It really is. Well, that's the thing. I mean, like, you know, I know they're pulling him pulling the vines off of him as it as it drags him away and but i keep on thinking about this opening scene where this woman is dragged into the dark by jaws you know yeah i mean basically. and it does like you know at some point you do see the vine like reach out really fast and grab onto people and all that but and it's like what is its strength level what can it do you know yeah but it can actually attack you you know evil dead style you know whip you with the the vines and pull you away um, the remaining two folks. Well, uh, uh, he pulls Jonathan Tucker pulls a knife out of uh, Sean Ashmore, and at this point, Stacy oh, right. is Stacy's done. She's like, "Kill me!" She's shouting, "Kill me!" There's vines poking out of the wound in her yeah, head. Yeah, well, they come, they come, Ooh, they uh, yeah. they come out and say hi, and then yeah. go back in. Yeah, and she's like, "The page is off." Oh, right, and then me. we cut down back to the the villagers, and then we hear the screaming stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now there were two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so how are they going to get off this? Thing? Well, what's going to happen? I mean, is this going to have a happy ending or a downer? Because it's I was, a pretty fatalistic kind of movie. You're like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> everyone's going. I thought they were definitely just going to commit suicide. I thought for sure they were going to just like run down that pyramid and be like, th- we'll yeah, both I, run for it and see what happens. Or for a minute there, I thought even Jonathan Tucker was going to lose it and just yeah. like, because he looked Kill like Kill everyone, gonna, yeah. Kill everyone or just like, whoosh, yeah. off himself right there because he couldn't take it. It felt like they were leading up to something like that with his character, right? I think so. Yeah. It kind of felt like it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. but yeah, this movie was like 
much heavier on the fatalistic stuff than I thought it was going to be. Colin, I definitely expected a cheesier movie. I'll mm. say that. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. But I mean, they can come up with a plan. Like he's smearing her with blood, and he's telling yeah. her. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. But I like this because I was sitting there going, like, "What the fuck is the plan here? Right. What are we right. doing?" So, like, I like that I wasn't ahead of the movie. I'm yes. like, mm -hmm. "What are they doing to get out of this situation?" Yes. And so, yeah, it smears her with blood, and the plan is he's going to bring her down, uh, set her down, and, and eventually he's going to distract them, and she's going to run and get to the jeep. They explain all this. It's like take the keys, get in the jeep. If it doesn't, you got to keep running. How these. Excuse me. People have the energy to do this after three days yep. is beyond me. Right. Jenna Malone water. should not be able to run at any level at this point, I don't think. But she does because he sets her down and then he's talking to them. He's just like, you should know my name. You should know all our names if you're going to if we're going to die here and you're going to kill us. And he explains a little bit of that. And he's like, you should also know her name. Her name was Amy. And then when he shouts it, she gets up and she fucking runs. And none of them notice because he's been walking the other way, like on, yeah. the, on the salt place. The thing, I guess, so they shoot him dead because mm -hmm. he keeps on aggressively walking toward them, I guess. Yeah, and he gets some there. arrows. And that was the one thing that like really bugged me about the movie was that shot of the vine reaching out, grabbing his body and pulling it back because I'm like, well, it's touching the salt. And I thought the whole point of this was it can't go out on the salt. And right. If it can, then. Like the whole logic of the thing. Implodes. I think it can't grow in the salt. I'm sure it can reach across a little bit, but you just reach across the other side and then you. Plant I some it doesn't go yeah. that long. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the mechanics I mean, these of things, this. Don't they? I mean, at some point it circle. can evolve to have uh, like dandelion uh, seeds and. For all we know, this, all the salt the circle thing. is literally just a salt circle to because maybe they think it's a demon. But the actual mechanics it's of the true. vine doesn't stop. The salt won't stop it from crawling mm -hmm. across. They're just like salt circle. Uh, e -oh, light a candle. <laughs> uh, all that stuff. Like I think but that's. Sean did a whole series of hand. Oh yeah, there was a whole thing there. I think I blessed all of us yeah. in that moment. Um, hopefully you didn't curse us. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, Igor will do that later. But she. But then Jen Malone gets in the jeep and drives off. Now I really Very thought Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It really is. That's what I thought because she's the Sally Hardesty getting away. She, and she is just maniacally. I really thought there would be like a moment where you thought she was fine and then phew, arrow would like get her or like somebody would run in front of the jeep and get her with an arrow right there and it would. I was hoping for like in the, the French extremist down, movie. That's what would happen. Right, the whole total down ending where nobody gets away from this shit. And then, but she ends up driving off through the woods, and that's the last we see of her. She's just gone. She is the Sally Hardesty of this. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we don't know what happens after that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to steal your thunder in case you've done some research into the alternate endings of this. I movie. have not, actually. Alternate so endings. steal the thunder. Steal it. So, oh, no. uh, well, for in the book, uh, she does actually come down and slitter. Uh, her uh wrists and dies on the on the thing uh -huh. and then i think uh you know the the folks that they left at the resort and gave the map to the show Greeks. up yeah. we do yeah. see that actually happen here uh that's the kicker mm -hmm. of the movie yeah. is the greeks show up and then it's like oh you know it's gonna they're gonna get trapped but there was so we're telling you this is the theatrical ending so if you watch the video version or the unrated version uh as she's driving away uh, something moves under her skin. Oh, oh that's a good ending. Yeah, good and ending. then I think there's another ending, another alternate ending, which is sometime later somebody goes to a grave. It turns out it's her grave, and there's like a little red flower. <laughs> oh, oh, I love see. that yeah. too. That would have been I'm good. I'm okay with all of these. Actually, <laughs> see, I like the red flower ending. That's pretty good. But they, I guess the director said like we tested all of those, and it's like how much do you want to punish your audience? You know, right. they had to give it a, a happy ending. Let, let even one get away. It, it doesn't seem logical because they said it was growing inside right. them. So yeah, it's yeah. one of those. You know, you poison the entire human you survived for a while yeah. right you killed bit. the rest of the world i thought you were going to say they were going to show like a the bumper of her car she's driving away and there's like a little tendril of a plant like yeah. climbing yeah. up yeah. It. yeah something like that yeah yeah could but be anything surprisingly we only get the uh her driving away and the greek show up mm -hmm. which means like maybe sequel it they could do a sequel come. right i like after the restraint this. they show with the ending so. yeah mm -hmm. yeah I'm, su I'm surprised that a lot of like restraint or as far as what does what in this movie mm -hmm. especially vine you know vine action it yeah, wasn't it wasn't too it didn't feel like too much which is good right like it wasn't a cartoonish right. caricature of a vine trying to kill people it felt they kept it uh, somewhat you know based in uh, a real world where yeah, it was the only real like 
I mean, I'm saying the only one. There's probably others, but I mean, the only thing that seemed like really over the top was maybe the vines carrying the guy's foot away, you know. <laughs> and you're like, but I remember that, you know. Right, it's yeah. like, right. That's the trade off. It it's yeah. like you go for okay, we're gonna go a little outside of you know the. <laughs> yeah, plus it's fun. <laughs> yeah, for fun. If, if you can make that sacrifice for fun, then you know that's got to be and, why and they memorable. kept it in there. Yeah, like, like we'll, right. we'll give him that one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> needs a snack. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess, uh, I mean, it sounds like we liked it, but did we? You're going to find out because we're going to go around the table and we're going to tell you each Did the ruins ruin horror movies for us? <laughs> That's right. We're never going to see another one again. No, this is it. We're never going on. It changes on the show forever. Yeah. yeah. Michaela was wow. like, she blind bought into this one. She's like, I'm not doing any more of these vacations. Holly Destination comes back and is like, movie. we can't pick horror movies anymore. What happened? No, I was gone. Uh, yeah, it's all Woody Allen yeah. movies now. Yeah. Yep. It's like, oh. <laughs> All right, well, uh, before we do that, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, Igor. I I imagine if Igor had like a greenhouse, this is the kind of plants he would have, right? (laughs) <laughs> Probably, yeah. I think he like yeah. tends to deadly plants. He would keep it under control, though. Sure, he gets like I'm sure. I'll bet he gets an arm lost in a Venus flytrap every now and again. But he just, just regenerates, <laughs> right? Yeah, like yeah. he'll go back and get new parts and all that stuff. Yeah. But I'm sure he gets parts of him eaten by plants. Oh, he's probably got a uh, uh, an Audrey tube back yep. there. That's what I was gonna say. Is this the horror version of Little Shop of Horrors? Isn't Little Shop of Horrors I'm, the horror yeah, version of Little yeah. Shop of Horrors? Is it? It was a comedy. I mean, I mean it is, it is but it's also a black fucking, comedy, and mm-hmm. oh, okay. it does eat Doesn't people. Steve Martin get chopped up Day with an the axe? Yeah. Uh, killer plants eat people. <laughs> Alien spores from outer space. Okay. This needs to be explored more. Yep. I think there's more we we get the, Killer plant movies? Do we get the, aside from Little Shop of Horrors, do we ever get the Venus flytrap movie where people get caught and they get dissolved in it and <laughs> sucked up and all Do we ever get that movie? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm trying sure. to remember how the Triffids killed you. I think oh. uh, they spit acid on you. I think they did. Okay. Then they ate you. Mm, that yeah. Mean, yeah, that makes sense. After everybody's blind Yellow. because meteors come down and everybody's blind, so you wander into a tree oh. and you can't see them. Oh, That's wow. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, all right. In order to participate on this interactive portion of our show, all you got to do is follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or you can email us directly. Saturday, Saturday Night Freak, Freak Show, show at yahoo.com. yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, The Ruins. Well, mm. Asobi Detora asks, uh, Michaela, are you only doing the worst vacation stories this, this year? I mean, it helps if they're bad, right? Um, Yeah, it helps, but I, I got a really long list. I'm trying to whittle it down because there's so many good vacation horror movies out there, man. All right. You're going to stay tuned. Yeah. There might be some sequels in there. I'll say that. There we go. Uh, G Money says I've never laughed harder at severed limbs being carried away. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is fun. Uh, Richard Kratzer says I love the novel. Fun fact: Patrick Wilson narrates the audio book. When the movie was announced, I thought there was no way they could pull off the twist that occurred in the novel, but they kind of did, but mostly didn't. It was such a fun watch. Some surprisingly good actors attached to this. They did the best with what they were given. I think I'm gonna have to read this book. Yeah, I feel yeah, like this book keeps coming up, and I'm well. The to twist I think was the. The the the, the thing was making the sound, right? Uh, I mean, that gotcha. was the big. Yeah. yeah, I think they did good. Um, Steve Carney says, "I hope there's a chance you will all take a trip to Hawaii on a perfect getaway this summer because it's a great thriller." A perfect getaway. That's that the one maybe, I went maybe to. On the list. I went to the premiere of that movie. That. That's the one I went to the premiere with. with really? Uh, yeah, with Mar. I was there with Marley Shelton, and that's when I told you I peed next to. Um, um, You've told this story before, uh, yeah. What's his name? Guy. He played Guy in That Thing You Do. I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Tom Everett Scott? Tom Everett oh, Scott, yeah. yes. I was in, at the urinal next to Tom Everett Scott. <laughs> yes, you, yes. Oh, my God. And Marley Marley premiere. Okay. Oh, I, I, was, a I, I was there with Wendy Peppercorn herself. <laughs> I will say Perfect Getaway is... Is a consideration. It's, right. it's got it's Steve Zahn. It's got Mila uh, Jovovich, Timothy right? Oliphant. Yeah. Mia Jo Timothy Oliphant. Yeah. Yep. He's really hard to Josh kill. Josh Jumel. Um, is Was he? It Timothy no, it's Teresa's. That's Teresa. Teresa. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Josh no, do Mel on that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, last week we watched a movie called Hard Target. Uh, most of uh, you haven't seen that or listened to that at the time we record this. But movie laughing. bacon I'll says movie bacon. the working title should have been Bulletproof Mullet. I like that. Mullet proof. 
Mullet proof. Oh, we'll even in Michaela's raising. Oh, there the we go. Here. There we go. Let's write it. Bulletproof. Mulletproof. Uh, the week before, we did a movie called Fallen, and Michael Whitaker says, "Boy, when God was build- building angels, he went a little overboard with Azazel. Uh-huh. That doesn't even sound like he f- could fly straight because Azazel uh, was uh, the name of a fallen angel who was cast out of heaven and was described as having seven heads, fourteen faces, and six wings." So mm. that's what Michael is reacting to. Yeah, the description of biblical angels is fucking wild. Yeah, that's no. true. They do it differently because he do, he is still has many faces and many like it still works into the movie because he jumps bodies. He doesn't have any wings. No wings, but you know he flies on breath. Okay. Uh, Pat Hatfield says thanks for mentioning Ava's possessions on your fallen episode. I've never heard of it before, and I'm putting it on my list of things to watch. Oh, yeah. And while I have your attention, I would also like some help if you would please. I was recently looking through your back catalog trying to find the episodes where you discuss Danger, Diabolic, and Ilsa, She Wolf of the SS, and I can't find them. Do you know how I might be able to listen to them? You say you did these right, or am I imagining things? You're not imagining things. We did do them. Um, so I did some checking because I just figured everything was there. If you go on the iTunes desktop app, it only has 300 episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the phone app, you, uh, get, them all. you, you get them all. Uh, we're on a cast. I think that has everything. If you just Google Saturday Night Freak Show and the title that you're looking for, you, you will find it. And I didn't. I do that when I want to know if we've covered a movie. Yeah. I right, right. Yeah. You just Google our name yeah. in the movie and yeah. it'll come up. Um, yeah, because what are we at, like 500 and somewhere on our way to 600 episodes, and it's Jesus. only showing 300. I'm counting down till 666. <laughs> ah, what are we, 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 what do we do watch for 666? Movie, right? mm. The Devil's Advocate. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, what, there we what go. do we have left? There's, uh, yeah. Devil's Advocate. Um, we got to put Pacino on the wall. Yeah. Travis Legler says, hearing Holly talk about watching a video in class of a vasectomy being done reminds me why I would be kicked out of that class. I would have turned into one of Michael Keaton's clones from Multiplicity saying, they touched my pippy, Steve, (laughs) much to Holly's glares. They they touched my pippy, Steve. Multiplicity's been on my list for a while, too. Multiplicity's a fantastic movie. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's something. Uh, the week before that I think we watched What Have You Done to Solange mm-hmm. and uh, Carl S says uh, hello freak stars What Have You Done to Solange is one of my favorite jolly thanks for to its interrogation of the Italian version of a Catholic school in England that it takes place in the storyline about the wife trying to deal with her husband's infidelity is strong mm-hmm. when divorce isn't a feasible option and the overly icky murders are obviously stabs at a society that doesn't let the girls own their own bodies. It puts a twist on the Catholic schoolgirl leering elements, albeit a pretty seedy twist. It's too bad most of you didn't enjoy it, but all but thanks always for making your conversations fun to listen to. With love, Carl, your biggest fan in Sweden. Oh, thanks. Oh, I think thanks. it's actually oh, a really good sweet. read on that movie. We're big in Sweden. Yeah, I think that's a really solid read on that yeah. movie. I agreed with everything you said. Uh, Rusty Ryan says, "I oh, Rusty Ryan, uh, Rusty Ryan, yeah, he's like a patron saint yeah. of the Saturday yeah. Night Freak yeah. Show." Uh, he says, "I haven't uh, written much lately, but yeah. I'm still listening and enjoying your podcast." Oh, thank you. Oh, Good. Thanks, I'm Ryan. a few weeks behind just because I spent two weeks in Japan on a trip that included finally getting to see Mario World at Universal Ooh. Osaka, and of course the Godzilla Museum and Zipline. Life is good. Damn. Most people have a map of all the mountains and temples. I have a map of every site in Japan that Godzilla destroyed. That's Fuck wonderful. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> the guy, I, f- I would, I would never think a Godzilla museum. Of course. Yeah, well, it's in like a big giant Godzilla head. But he goes on oh to say, "Oh my god, I really enjoyed your episode on what have you done to Solange?" And because I'm featuring it in a book I'm working on, I want to add some fun facts about the numerous titles it was released under oh. here in the United States. Of course, it had no less than eight titles when it was oh released, my god. and uh, I believe it. that was before it made it to home video. They included. Solange, Terror in the Woods, Blood Relations, Come <laughs> Teach Me, The School That Couldn't Scream, nope. The Secret of the Green Pins, Who's Next, and my favorite, The Ra Rah Girls. In 1977, <laughs> exploitation movies about cheerleaders were very popular, so Hallmark Releasing jumped on the bandwagon, and they made a new trailer that took scenes from the film, added a marching band soundtrack, and an enthusiastic sports announcer voice to make this film appear like a college cheerleader movie. 
Oh, I've no. seen it. He oh sent a link. God. You're gonna have to watch this. The I'm girls are at it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's this exactly summer. <laughs> it's yeah. What have you they done to Solange? The Ra Ra girls. The Ra Ra yeah. girls. Yeah. The Ra Jesus. Well, oh yeah. my God. I'm. F I Those love... girls up to no good again. <laughs> yeah. You have I... totally nailed it. That's what it is. <laughs> I love when. I... Our, our listeners write in with like facts that continue the conversation for weeks because I've like <laughs> developed more knowledge about this movie than I ever thought I would, and I love it. Just in the yeah, ongoing, yeah, oh yeah, like rolling. I know because I, I was all it, yeah. bummed like when we watched it. I yeah, think, Colin, after, you were like, bitter. Nobody, nobody wrote like, in. Yeah, all right, I'm done with Come teach me. Yeah. And but now we're just I'm getting not. all these fun facts. Yeah, I, I how, yeah, facts. how is cum spelled and cum? Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Well, back then they did it. Well, okay. So uh, anyway, uh, Rusty also says, uh, thanks for all the effort the four of you put into this. I appreciate you all. Your choices of movie titles is a perfect balance with Colin standing up for many old school movies and Sean, Holly, and Michaela tossing in many movies that I missed during that time. I was trying to be a responsible and raise kids. So uh, thank you very <laughs> you much. Got to make up for lost time, dude. Oh yeah, well, that's, thank I you. Mean, that's what Sean and I are doing with this movie, right? Yeah, I mean, basically. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like uh, yeah, anything that passed us by, mm -hmm. uh, I'm well, I welcome it back now. Right. Let's go through those times. Well, thank you very much. Seriously. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for writing, and yeah. we appreciate very it. Nice. This is the reason we do it, right? Is because you yeah. guys are out there listening. So mm -hmm. I've got uh, no other reason. Nobody's paying me to do this. Right. YouTube does. Couple times yeah. a year. A couple times a year. It's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Black Ops pays us. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, on the, so now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, The Ruins. Starting with. Uh, it's either you or me, Colin. Uh, <laughs> let's go with me. Um, the Ruins. Uh, very surprised by this movie. Um, it passed me by when it first came out because I will admit, uh, I, I'll, even though I don't remember it now, I remember. Um, the advertising for this, it made me feel like this was kind of just another one of the movies of that, of, you know, like 2000 to 2010 in that The era DVD horror. art looks very low rent. Yeah, it doesn't look like something. Looks that, like a sci-fi movie. On sure. The it doesn't look yeah. like, it, it didn't stand out to me at the time. So I passed it by uh, for later days. But now watching it tonight, I'm, I'm very surprised by the movie. Uh, I like the, the actors I think are doing uh, uh, very good in this. I like the situations that they were put in. It's like, what would you do if this happened? Uh, I'm su I was very surprised at what the actual um, uh, monster, quote unquote, of the movie is. I did not expect it to be Vines or the Flowers. Um, that was a nice surprise. Um, you know, kind of what it could do within the movie. It's mimic of sounds and all this stuff. Uh, also very cool, very interesting. Um, some uh, levity in it again when he's getting his feet taken away and all that stuff. Um, plus, you know, making fun of characters for making boneheaded moves is always a, a fun when movies like this. Yeah, I was surprised by the movie. Um, it's only an hour and a half, which is a, a great big plus for it. This thing's fucking speeding. Um, yeah, it was. It was good. I could have gone for the very very. Uh, dour ending where she she didn't make it out at the end and I would have been perfectly fine with it but I'm glad where it ended up uh, I'm good with that yeah uh, surprised by the movie and I like being surprised by movies so I'm going to recommend The Ruins surprise I didn't never would have thought I'd recommend The Ruins but there you go I recommend The Ruins Colin what did you think of The Ruins well I mean when I saw it because I did see it before but I mean that was the generally I mean that was the gist that I took away from it when I first saw it was I was surprised you know like how much I enjoyed it because you see so many of these and you just kind of go in there and you're like, all right, what, what is it this week? Yeah, you know, what do you got they, for me? And, and so often it seems like they let you down. Like they usually have like a decent concept. You know, a lot of movies can write themselves into a situation and then can't write themselves out of it. Yeah. But this one I thought did, it was like, it kept on, you know, being interesting. I think because it kept, uh, upping stakes by like killing people, uh, like, right off the bat, you know, so quickly and like mm -hmm. putting them in situations where it's like, Oh no, now we have to deal with this horrible thing, you know, which because of its brief time, I think it, it manages to pull that off. You know, nothing, it doesn't feel extraneous. Like nothing really feels extraneous. Um, which I liked, I guess, you know, I'm so used to movies like, you know, overcomplicating things. They're yeah. overcomplicating all the characters and they're, everybody's got to have like these deep character arcs, you know, 
there was something, and now they're all winking at you, or they got some kind of messaging that they want to get. Uh, we didn't flash back to one of these characters <laughs> having a trauma with a plant yeah, right, when they right, were young. Right. You know, that, like, that didn't is, happen. Yeah, that would, that's another trope of like modern movies. <laughs> yep. Everybody's damaged going into it. Right. And no one, no one can just be a villain. You have to understand the villain to yep. be sympathetic to yeah. them. No yeah. one can just be a bad person. They always have to have a tragic backstory as to why yeah. they're a bad person. When are we going to have like the modern equivalent of the Zucker brothers, like just tearing apart like the cliches in, <laughs> right. in movies? Yeah. Um, and this just kind of plays out like I like these type of like the original Friday the 13th which I always kind of go back to is like those people just feel like people and we you right. know ducked in on them you know Alien has that too the original Alien it feels like you're just hanging out with these people like it's yeah. unscripted almost you know um, this does feel scripted you know so it's not exactly well, yeah. the same but I mean I like the characters their interplay uh, yeah I didn't want them to get killed yeah. uh, which is always important in these movies as opposed to a lot of modern movies where you hate Hate, hate the most awful. Look at Halloween ends. You hate every character <laughs> in the thing. They're just awful human beings. These people weren't. They were just like normal kids in over their head. Um, the uh, gore, I think, because it gets into this like icky, like, oh, I guess you call it body horror, but, you know, yeah. it, things invading your flesh, you know. <laughs> uh, Ooh, uh, copyright uh, 2023 <laughs> Center for show invading your flesh. Yeah, they, it wants to get inside you and eat you and all this other <laughs> stuff. It's just kind of... Uh, and that's the tagline. Carving off parts of themselves. <laughs> uh, invading your flesh sounds like like the knockoff title of Under the Skin. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> When it when it played, has in that Finland. been brought to the freak show? Under no, the skin? no. All right, I got that on a right, list too. Yeah. Yeah. All these we're all skin. sharing the same yeah. list, probably. But, um, but yeah, I guess I would. Uh, it was. It surprised me. It, uh, it not like it scared you, but it, it has no. horrifying moments. It was cool. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It's one of those like. Uh, Oh, you're going to bring the shallows, aren't you? That's on your list. Uh, uh, it, uh, somebody I isolated in a... My, you know. my husband and I, when we were on our honeymoon, we sat in Bedstone to watch the shallows at like 9 a.m. when we were on vacation. <laughs> because it was his first time like seeing the ocean in America. And I was like, well, look what's on TV. It's like it's Kismet. I guess we got to watch the shallows. And he, that movie, like he was not expecting some of the grossness and where it came from in that movie. Yeah. Which if you've seen, you know, mm. I don't want to spoil it. But That's another yeah. movie that uh, yeah, did yeah. better than it was expected. Or, it's a better movie yeah. than you thought. Go like this one, yeah. better than you thought. I guess is yeah. the yep. final word. Yep, uh, Michaela, what did uh, and I recommend it? Michaela, yeah. what did you think? I mean, yeah, this is my first time seeing it. I don't know how this passed me by, considering I was the perfect age for it at the time. It was not. Did they have wide advertising? I don't remember seeing trailers or anything. I remember. Uh, I, was I remember a good two weeks or yeah. yeah. advertising, but that was about it. Um, I mean, I expected a little bit more of a time capsule vibe considering it's 2008 but hmm. like the only real time capsule things about it are the blackberry phone and the can you hear me now verizon joke <laughs> that comes back twice in this movie uh. i didn't expect that but beyond that it's really for a 2000s horror movie not as much of it's pretty timeless in most aspects i would say um i i mean i watch a lot of reality tv and reality tv producers go between all the people on the cast and say hey this person said this shit about you did you hear that? Uh, what if you uh, called this person right now? What would they say? And I love that in this movie, the plant is the reality TV show producer that's creating all this psychological <laughs> drama between these people. And oh, I that did not bitch expect is sleeping that. with your boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Oh, did, oh, did you hear that? There's a cell phone. You, just you might be able to get out of here. Flower, yeah, yeah. A flower go up to her ear. Yes. And <laughs> yes. The only thing that could have made this movie better is if they had like confessionals like reality TV, right? Like they would go in and just be like, I don't know who I can trust anymore, guys. Like, you know, talking yeah. to the camera. That would be fucking great. But um, I mean, I expect like I knew plants were involved somehow because I did do research, but I didn't know that they were going to be like psychologically torturing these people as well. Yeah. So that was a nice surprise that it wasn't just like the physical invasion of their body. But this thing was designed to hunt them in multiple ways. And I loved that. Um, I can't believe it passed me by and then no one has told me to watch this. How is this Maybe we're the ones that have to tell other yeah, people to watch it. Yeah, you mark my words. Next week, bloody disgusting. Why you should revisit the ruins this summer? You know, um, it's it's a, it's a fifteen. No, it is. It's fifteen year anniversary this yeah. year. So, um, yeah, you got to watch it. I mean, it's it, it's great. <laughs> Listen to the episode and yeah. tell me why you That's shouldn't good. watch it. You know, it's it was so much more violent and brutal than I expected. Though I guess for the time period, I should have expected that. But no, it's awesome. Got to watch it. Recommend. Right, yeah. Free means, show approved. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, the one I, I just it just clicked what the when the flowers are making the noises and, and repeating back like 
um Stacy's, you know, yelling and all that stuff. It reminded me, you remember um, Annihilation, the bear scene? Yeah. Where the bear, mm-hmm. it's like you hear human voices screaming yep. and it's oh, the yeah. fucking bear coming up mm-hmm. behind. Yeah. That's what it kind of reminded me of, that yeah. mimic where it's just, they're saying, they're the horrifying noises they're making are coming back at them. And yeah. It's like creepy. Yeah. Creepy. Yeah. I don't know, bad. it's a creepy idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, that means you're contractually obligated to watch the movie because we all uh, recommended it to you. So thank you for playing along. Uh, Next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we going to watch next week? I was, oh, I was threatening to be done. This, this is a man oh, on. The, oh no! This no, is a man no, on the edge. He's not done. He's not done. <laughs> this is a man looking. Well, this is a man looking for redemption. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think you yeah, have to do that. He wants to go out on a higher note. You gotta go out on a higher <laughs> note. And uh, bird with the crystal plumage. Well, no, I see. I Damn can't it. do that because I don't think there'd be enough to talk about. Okay. We've already talked about Dario Argento at no, length. You got to give us something. Yeah. So I think the one that I keep talking about, but you guys haven't actually seen, is uh, Edvig Fennec and George Hilton, the Jallo power couple. So I was like, well, we got to find a movie that has both of them in it because they did like four or five of them, I think. And so we're going to do The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Okay. All right. I've always wanted to know what Mrs. Ward's Strange Vice there was. There you go. All right. Sergio Martino. He did Torso. So we're coming back to Sergio uh, Martino. Oh, did Ernesto Gastaldi write this movie? Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. oh maybe I promise I won't make fun of it. The feud reignites <laughs> next week. Next week, the yeah. feud continues. We'll find out. All right. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.